Welcome to the Wikia video tutorial series. This video will take you on a tour of the Theme Designer, a tool that allows you to create a unique Wiki theme and wordmark. The Theme Designer is an admin tool that you can reach in two ways from your toolbar. You will find a direct link to it from your My Tools, and you can also access it from inside the admin dashboard. Once you enter the Theme Designer, you will see two main areas, the customization area and the preview area. Any changes that you make in the customization area will automatically show in the preview area. You can also access previous versions there. In the customization area, there are three tabs, theme, customize, and wordmark. The theme tab has 11 preset themes of varying colors and patterns. These are a great place to start if you want to try a couple of different looks or want to start with a base look and customize from there. The next tab down is Customize. Here you can change the background and the page options. The background area allows you to set a single color or upload a custom graphic. When using a custom graphic, a couple of tips. The content width is 1030 pixels, so you want the background image to be wider so it displays nicely along the size of the content. We recommend you use an image that is 1700 by 800 pixels. This gives a nice frame to the page. To do this, you can use one large image, split one image into two, or use two separate images that you can put together into one file. It's important to remember that the background image file size must be less than 150 kilobytes. In order to have an awesome skin and meet this requirement, we recommend you use a couple of methods. Use an image optimizer tool to shrink the file size or save it a lower resolution. Use a less complex image along with our tile option or cut out parts of the skin that are covered by the content area. If you decide to use one large image, we recommend cutting out the middle lower portion, which will reduce the image size. Leaving 420 pixels on top ensures there's always a graphic there, even if the ad size changes. Here you can see an example from our Warhammer 40K wiki. If you decide to use two images or split one image in two, we recommend also removing the middle section and then adding a fade to the inner side of the image so it transitions nicely into the middle. Here you can see an example from the Guardians of the Middle Earth wiki. Both these options help to create a great skin and have a lower file size. To the right of the background area is the page area. Here you can change the colors of the buttons, links, the header, and page color. You can even adjust the transparency of the page itself. Simply click on the colors box and choose from an array of colors or enter a color of your choice. The third tab down is Wordmark. This allows you to use a text or graphic wordmark as well as upload a favicon. For a text wordmark, fill in the wiki name and pick a font and size. For a custom wordmark, upload your own design. Just remember it needs to be the file type PNG and the image must be 250 pixels by 65 pixels or less. A favicon is a tiny icon that appears on your wiki's browser tab. If you'd like to add a custom favicon to your wiki, simply upload a 16 by 16 pixel .ico file on this tab. Once you have the design you like, simply hit save and it will be live on your wiki. Remember, readability is the most important aspect, so be sure your wiki design makes it easy to read. You can access the theme designer at any time, so feel free to adjust over time. We hope you enjoyed the tour of the theme designer. To learn more about editing on Wikia, watch one of our other video tutorials. Happy editing!